Hello Aries, welcome to your monthly tarot reading. This is for the month of January 2023. Happy New Year. I hope your holiday was great and you are stepping into the new year with a good attitude and good things happening. I am beginning by pulling um, from the Gateway Oracle. And then I'm going to pull, I've got the uh, Witch's Tarot out for you and um, the Gilded Royale to clarify. Um, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. The, this is a general reading as well, so please take it as it resonates. You might want to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising to gain more insight if you like the reading, hit that like button, share it with your friends, leave me a comment. Let's see what we have for Aries for January of 2023, please. What do we have for Aries? Aries, here we go, Aries. Akashic Stargate. Aligned with purpose, crossroads, no wrong path. Oh, perhaps you're coming to a crossroads here. Um, let me, uh, I'm going to look this one up, the Akashic Stargate. It's got to be right here. Here it is. Let's see what the message is on this card. Whenever the Akashic Stargate is presented to you, it's because you're at a critical point on your journey. You have the opportunity to move in a particular direction and you have to make a decision. This can feel overwhelming and you may be waiting for someone or something to make the decision for you. But you aren't here to walk a path that was set for you. You're here to walk a path that you have chosen. The next phase of your journey cannot unfold until you decide which way to go. Know that whatever decision, whoops, sorry, whatever direction you take and whatever decision you make, you'll always be on the right path. No matter how you get there, you'll always end up in a similar space. Also know that purpose isn't about doing your duty. It's about living life and experiencing joy. Hmm, I like that. What direction are you choosing to move in? All right, let's see what the tarot is bringing in for Aries, please, for the month of January. Okay, <laughs> coming out the Ten of Swords, the end of the cycle. All right, let me get these on here. Look at that, and the Emperor stepping into your power, taking authority, the ending of something. Let's see what else we have here. Wow, okay. Um, let's see what we have. We have the King of Swords. Hmm. All right. Um, well, we have <laughs> the shadow side, the four of wands, ten of pentacles, interesting, very interesting, the strength card. The Five of Wands and the Wheel of the Year. Let's get two more cards on here. Two more cards, please, Spirit. shuffling today. Two more cards, please, Spirit. Justice, Four of Cups. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Justice and the Four of Cups. All right, we're gonna clarify with the Gilded Royale and see what we have here. What is Spirit uh, telling Aries? What is the message for Aries, please? Um, we have an ending here, and then we have the Emperor energy here. Let's clarify, please, the Ten of Swords. All right. What do we have? The Queen of Wands, um, the Seven of Swords, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. All right. There's an ending to something. Perhaps you've lost your um, passion for it. And there's the Seven of Swords gathering intellect information. Or perhaps someone has deceived you. Um, and then the Ten of Swords here. The beginning. There's an ending to something. It's possible um, that this was something that you had your heart set on, you were passionate about it, you were driven, you were seeking it, but there was some sort of deception that took place and it is bringing it to an end or it has already happened. Let's, and now it's time for you to step into your own power here with this emperor energy and the page of wands stepping forward, taking control of your destiny, stepping into your power, um, following your passions, your desires. Oh, wow. All right, I'm just dropping cards everywhere. Um, whatever hasn't served you with the two of wands, following, making the decision based on your heart, where is it leading you? Where is it guiding you? What direction is it taking you in? Pay attention to that. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, but it's in reverse. Perhaps there's a... Wow, a uh, sense of not having enough. There not being the abundance there. Not having um, financial security that, that you're seeking. Whatever this is that came to an end or is coming to an end, it was something false. It was a false start of something. Um, and it didn't serve you. It was uh, perhaps you were led there deceptively and it, it, it's coming to an end so that you can begin anew and follow your, your heart's desires, your true passion. Maybe you think that you can't because you think resources are limited. Um, put that, put an end to that, okay? Transform that energy. Believe that the universe has you. This is an opportunity for a new beginning, a transformation, a new start. Uh, we have the King of Swords here. Clarity. That clarity... coming in for you. Oh my goodness. Um, the Eight of Wands. Wow. The feeling's st stuck. The Three of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. The Five of Wands. These are all in the reverse position. The Knight of Pentacles. Things have been... Um, At a standstill, stagnant perhaps. Oh, no movement. No um, teamwork. Cooperation, no harmony, no balance. No resolve of conflict, no movement forward. That stuck energy. 
gain the clarity you need to move forward. We have the shadow side here. It's time um, to face the darkness. It's time to go within. It's time to deal with the shadows and the things that hold you back, that keep you stuck. Hmm. Let's clarify this shadow work, please. All right. So here we have, we have the four of swords in the upright. Take that time, that rest. Take the time for recovery, for self-reflection. Um, the star. Yes, what are you wishing for? What is your dream? It has the potential to be fulfilled, to come to fruition. We have the nine of cups. You're feeling unfulfilled. You're feeling like it's not there for you. But the potential is there. You need to do the inner work. You need to take the time you need to recover. Whatever's happened, um, whatever ending has come about, whatever deception, false start, you need to take the time to do the necessary work, the healing work, so that you can move forward. Because there is the potential here. Look, we have the Four of Wands here with that uh, stability, that success, that joy. Let's uh, clarify the Four of Wands, please. Clarify this Four of Wands. Okay. Um, the Ace of Wands and the world. And then why is everything coming up in the reverse here? Do I have my deck upside down? No, <laughs> no. Okay. And the Five of Cups. This is holding you back. That's why everything's in the reverse. Perhaps there's a feeling of um, self-pity going on here. Uh, wallowing in self-pity, the loss, the pain, the hurt, instead of addressing it, dealing with it, facing it, and moving on from it and stepping into the future. The potential for your security, your success, your joy, your happiness is there. But you will not obtain that if you are dwelling on the loss, if you focus on the hurt the wound, the loss, what's missing, what you didn't achieve. Focus your attention on what you want to achieve. Choose to focus on the future, what you can do uh, to make it better, what you want to happen, and move forward. Don't dwell on the negative, on the past, on the hurt, on the deception. Do the healing work and move forward. Look at this. The sun coming up here on the Ten of Pentacles card. Abundance coming in for you. Success, the financial gain, prosperity, happy home life, security. The sun, it's your time to shine. You need to do all this inner work, this inner healing, address the issues so that you can move forward in this energy, in this success, abundance, light. Yeah, heal, the, heal, 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 heal. And the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. The Empress in the reverse. It's holding you back. It's keeping you stuck. This heart that you need to heal, this wound that you need to heal, that you need to address is keeping you stuck. Decide to address it, heal it, and move forward. Decide not to allow it to tie you down anymore, to hold you back. Don't wallow in self-pity. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, take that swift, intelligent, decisive 
action. Look at three of cups. Um, celebrate what you do have, the blessings that you do have, the friends, the relationships. Celebrate those things. The wheel of fortune coming in here for this new beginning, this new cycle. And the eight of cups leaving the past behind so you can move forward. What's holding you back here, Aries? What wounding, what betrayal, what deception, what lie? What pain do you need to address? Do you need to take the time to heal from, to get real with? There's something here that you haven't dealt with that is holding you back. And you need to choose and decide, are you going to wallow in that self-pity? Are you going to let it hold you back? Or are you going to move forward with the intention of making things better, of achieving the dream, the goal, the desire? Are you going to step into your strength? And move forward. Yeah, gain clarity here, the Two of Swords. Take off your blinders. What do you need to address? What do you need to look at? What are you missing? Are you in denial? Justice. Justice in the reverse. Are you looking at things fairly? Um, or are the scales tipped? Are you being too hard on yourself or too hard on somebody else? Take an honest look at the situation and be fair in your judgments. Be honest, be real, take off the blinders, do the necessary healing that you need to do. Oh my goodness. All right, the hanged man. Get out of your rut and move forward. Do uh, the healing. The king of swords in the reverse. Your judgment is being clouded because you're not seeing things or you're not willing to see things. You are holding yourself back uh, by a refusal uh, to deal with what needs to be dealt with, uh, to take the time to heal, to move on, to move forward, to release what doesn't serve you. Don't hold on to those things from the past. They need to be released. Take the time to do the healing, the inner healing. Release what needs to be released. Gain the clarity you need. Tap into that inner strength and decide where you're, what direction you're going to move in. Are you going to stay stuck, wallowing in self-pity? Or are you going to move forward? Are you going to move forward and not give up? Are you going to going to continue? Are you going to seek out and move forward, tap into that inner resiliency and move forward to overcome the obstacles, the challenges that are presenting themselves to you? You're tired perhaps, um, but you haven't been looking at things honestly and dealing with things head on. And it's time to do that. It's time to get real. It's time to examine and get real. Three of Wands, yes, look. Follow the desire of your heart. Your ship's coming in. The opportunity is coming in to move forward. To move through. This. Look at this wheel of the year. The new opportunity. The beginning of a new cycle. Let go of the past. Do that work. See things as they truly are. Take off the blinders. Be open to receiving the King of Pentacles, the abundance, the security that you seek. 
Look at this King of Pentacles. Abundant, prosperous, confident, secure. Also nurturing, well grounded. Wow. Okay. Um, so we have the chariot, the opportunity to move forward. We have the lovers. Passionate. This is a passionate relationship with you and someone else or you and something. Perhaps something you desire to create, to manifest, or a path that you want to take that you're passionate about. The opportunity to move forward is coming in for you. To move into that, to step into that. We have this Four of Cups energy. Very um, Things are flowing here. But they're not paying attention. Not paying attention. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. The Ace of Cups. The new beginning coming in. The abundance overflowing here. The intuition there for you. Leading you, guiding you. Giving you the wisdom you need. The Six of Pentacles, that balance, that balance of energy. Um, mm -hmm. Don't become complacent. Um, don't allow yourself to stay stuck. Move forward. Pay attention to the opportunities coming in for blessing that intuition speaking to you. Create that balance in your life, uh, in your relationships, your energy, your time, everything. Look for that balance, that equal give and take. Know where to give and where not to give. And the Eight of Swords here. The stuck energy again. Feeling trapped. Work your way through that. Release yourself. Look at the justice here in the upright. Use fair judgment. What else do we have here for judgment? All right. And the fool. And I don't know. Um... Have faith and move forward. Don't allow past circumstances to keep you stuck, to keep you trapped, to keep you bound. Don't allow that. Take the leap of faith. Trust universe. Use fair judgment, not only for those around you, but for yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Do the healing and move forward. The Queen of Cups. Listen to your intuition. Being guided by your intuition. Uh, in touch with your emotions. Dealing with those emotions. And listening to your intuition to create the success, the security, the joy, the bliss, the happy home life. Um, it's there for you, Aries. <laughs> it is truly there for you. But I see a need for you to work through the past um, circumstances that have left you wounded and hurt. Um, there's been a deception somewhere. Um, and you thought it was the real deal. This was it. But it was a false start. It, it wasn't real. It was false. And now you're stuck in this. And you need to release yourself. You need to move forward. You need to choose to let go of the past. To feel it, deal with it, and move on from it. Don't allow it uh, to keep you from that fulfillment that you seek. The joy that you seek. The happiness, the security, the family life that you seek. Whatever brings you that bliss or that joy that you're seeking, don't allow past events to get in the way. Deal with it and move on. Move on. 
Step forward on the path to recovery and success. I'm going to pull another oracle here in closing. Let's pull an oracle in closing. All right, here we go. If I can get the card, here we go, here we go. Oh, look at this. Trust in magic, yes. Trust in magic, take the leap of faith. Do the inner work and move forward and trust. Trust universe, trust in the magic that is happening. And it is happening, whether you can see it or not. Uh, when you move forward in that healing, in... Um, facing things head on and doing the inner work, universe creator will bless those efforts, will lead you in the right direction. The blessings will come in for you. They are there for you. Let me um, pull a ram here. Right. We have ANSYS. Yes. Pay attention. Watch for communication from spirit. Watch for those signs and synchronicities that spirit sends your way to lead and guide you through this. It may be difficult for you, but watch for the signs. Watch for the messages from spirit. Spirit is there for you to guide you, to lead you, um, even to encourage you on your path through this difficult time into um, this healing, this success, this abundance. Pay attention. Pay attention. Listen to that guidance. This is what I have for you, Aries, for January of 2023. Uh, thank you for joining me and have a blessed month.